Many poets have tried to describe my city and failed. And there was one, a great storyteller, who found the right word, the perfect word that encapsulated the soul of my city. Hello, my name is Guy and I'm from the YouTube channel How To Be A Great GM. Now, I've worked with Dungeon Fog well, since they started, basically, because they allow us to make the most amazing battle maps um, out of all the software that's out there. I think they are the best. You can make fantasy, you can make science fiction, you can make cyberpunk, you can make Victorian. Now, these are the maps that I've made for my campaigns that I've run either online or in my private games. They approached me a couple months ago and they said, um, what else do you want? They brought me on board as a consultant, as an advisor, as a, I think, lowest common denominator in terms of my technological understanding of how software works. They brought me on board for Project Deos. Now, you've heard a little bit about Project Deos uh, here and there. There's been snippets. But one of the components, one of the components, because Project Deos is a multi-layered onion. Think of it as an onion. We have an outer layer, or an inner layer, or another layer. You keep peeling it back, and there's more layers, more and more and more and more layers, each one more exciting than the rest. <laughs> the city map maker is just one of the layers, one of the layers. Now, what gets me really excited about the city map maker is that, as I said, I've been involved with the project. I've been working with the artists. I've been working with Dungeon Fog. I've been working with their programmers going, oh, I wanted to be able to just do that and just do this, and then that must happen. And miraculously, they've been made able to sort of implement my craziness as well as taken advice from other people, I'm sure. But what we wanted to do was we said, okay, what do we want from a city map maker? We wanted to be able to scale, so from a village all the way up to a metropolis. We wanted to look great. We wanted to be easy to do, easy to make. It mustn't be complicated. It mustn't take us thousands and thousands of hours to do it. It has to allow us to create zones, so residential or port or administrative zones, which can populate with buildings that are appropriate to that zone. But we need to be able to go in and change those buildings as well. Perhaps we want to insert a park, or maybe there's an alleyway that we needed added that wasn't auto-generated. We want to be able to have control over those kinds of things. I also wanted to be able to have control over the types of cities. Not just an orcish city, or a human city, or an elvish city. I want more. I want more power. Give me power. I also want to be able to have the ability to move from the city map to a battle map, like the one behind me, with a click of a button. Let me find the building that the characters are entering into, let me double click on it, and let me go into a battle map that I've made previously using Dungeon Fog as it currently stands. I then want to be able to click from that and go back out into the city map. You know, as technology has been advancing and improving, as it's becoming more accessible, we see when we're sitting around the tables, we, we now have flat screen interaction or we project them onto the walls. Or when we're playing online, there are all kinds of VTTs that provide support for this sort of thing. We should embrace this. And if that allows us to see the whole city and then see inside the building and then see back out again, what a pleasure. So that's all of the stuff that we've been cramming into the city builder from Dungeon Fog. Now, as I said, that's part one of many, many, many parts to Project Dale. So it's very, very exciting. And of course, you can rely on the fact that a certain YouTuber from a certain YouTube channel will be making a whole lot of videos and tutorials on how to best make a city using this software when it comes out. If you want to know more, continue to unlock more of the clues that we've been giving out that got you to this video in the first place, or you'll just have to wait for the next unlock to happen. Project Deos is really a game changer. It is completely going to revolutionize how you make maps, how you think about making maps, and how you feel about making maps. You know, walk away with maps like the ones that are behind me here where you're going, I I made that. Can you believe that? And your players are going to have so much fun running around these amazing maps. Really, I am. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this to 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 to, to launch. So enough from me. Until uh, well, the next layer of the onion is revealed. Until the next part of Project Deos uh, hits your screens. I wish you and yours the very happiest of map making.